scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! Hey, boom! Welcome to an all new Trenny and C. He's Trenny. I'm C, and today we have a, a cocktail. We have one of these uh, pre-mixed cocktail beverages. This is the On the Rocks Premium Cocktail, the old-fashioned crafted with Knob Creek. Let's get a... Uh... Knob Creek. So, as you know, that is a buff... Or, sorry, a Jim Beam product. Uh, bourbon. Generally bottled at 50% alcohol. Correct. That is correct. But this one, being a pre-mixed cocktail, correct. is 35% alcohol. Correct. Um, but one of our favorite cocktails ever is the Old Fashioned. So absolutely. we've tried a couple of different varieties and versions of it, of like pre-mixed cans and things mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm hoping this is a little bit more... Because those were like carbonated, you know? It does have directions though. Oh. Pour over ice. Hey, a couple of simpletons hey, like us can figure that one make out. Make sure we don't have any water in there. No, don't pour ice over water. Things. Yeah, you're supposed oh, to pour yeah. that okay, over this. Ice. Okay. Do you got any water in there? Oh, drain it. Okay. Got a bug in my face. Um, I find it interesting that Knob Creek would allow their name to be put onto something, so it must be good if Knob Creek is willing to like put their name on it, considering it's not truly from Jim Beam or from Knob Creek. It's from this On the Rocks premium cocktails. Yeah. And so that that's what the, uh, I think it's called OTR.com or something. On the Rocks. Yeah, On the Rocks. OTR. Okay. So that is, it is interesting because they have that as the main brand. Right. And then beneath it, it has the website for Knob Creek. So interesting. they've, they, they got to be in bed together. Mm, maybe. Maybe there's <laughs> something going on there. Um, <clears throat> but we don't really care about that. All we care about is whether or not this tastes good. So what is regular? What is a real old-fashioned? So real old-fashioned, I mean, depends on how real we're talking. They're original old-fashions. Yeah. The, the reason they're called old-fashioned is because it's the old... It's the one of those old, old cocktails, cocktails. Yeah. it's basically the first cocktail and it was it used to be made with uh like american style rye back okay. in the day and all it was is a sugar probably not a cube but some sugar um ice and bitters, bitters if they had it which is usually like a runoff of like an old distillate and then an um, orange slice, an right? orange slice with the bourbon, and then and then muddle it up, muddle right? it up, and toss it up. Some variations had once you know soda sure. style water came around, then that had that in there. But really, all it was was a couple ingredients. Yeah, so it's so, like a four ingredient kind of cocktail. Yeah. that's pretty much just booze with some sugar and orange juice. In so it, kind of like. the old fashioned gained popularity again mm. during uh, when Mad Men came out. Yeah. Because yeah. Don Draper, the main character, mm -hmm. that was his drink, drink of choice. For sure. That and like Canadian Club, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I yeah. think you're right. So uh, I'm not sure if he had his old fashions with rye or bourbon, but I and we personally like it better with bourbon. I yeah. Think. So this yeah. should be up our alley depending... Uh, what they've done here okay let's have a sniff smells pretty legitimate it smells knob creaky yeah it's it's got that walnut kind of mm -hmm. spiciness to it but it and also a, has a like nice a little bit of sugar citrus zest kind of thing going on yeah do you know what but this is it i think compared to the i mean we haven't tasted it yet but on the nose it smells like a very very much a traditional style mm -hmm. okay okay well, let's, let's get, get into it yeah I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like that's fully drinkable. Fairly true to the original concept. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting that. Uh, a big essence of, um, like, it, it is quite bourbon-y. You know, as, I mean, as it should be. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, um, that... It's, it's, it's not just sweet and it's not just... No, like, exactly. It's like the actual spirit is the, the showstopper. Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's what I'm getting at here is that it's not overwhelmed by some kind of like fake orange flavoring or something like that. You know, like it actually yeah. tastes like, tastes like old something that taste. we would almost make. Yeah. Mm. 
But one thing about the old fashioned, and I think it's a part of the aesthetic of it, is the making it. You know, it's the muddling. It's, it's the, the process. The process. It takes. It makes you appreciate the cocktail because you know it's not just like pouring some Coke Zero on Jim Beam. It, it's the trip, not the destination. <laughs> you know, and um, and the de- destination is pretty sweet. That being said, <laughs> now that we're at the destination, um, it the destination is better than I expected. The orange flavor is actually like really authentic tasting because it's definitely mixed in with the the bitters in there, mm-hmm. which is exactly kind of what you want. Nice and herbal, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of uh, the bourbon spices. It's all it's all really there. I think that I am happy to actually go on record as re- like recommending this product. This is not bad. Did you show the the people? Sure, I think so, but. Yeah, I mean, this is just a small sample. I haven't seen it anywhere else. I think it in may bottles, be a new but... product. So that being said, I mean, if you're in the market for a premixed cocktail, uh, this is one of the one of the good ones. I would because say there so, are yeah. a lot of bad ones. It's a lot of bad premix. So great. So, cheers. If they came up with this in a bigger bottle, that's awesome. So some kind of bug. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there, there <laughs> you, you go. I think I got it. Um, Okay, cheers. so cheers. Thanks for joining us. We're trending and see. Click, click like. like, subscribe. And more importantly, you should go and uh, go onto our Patreon mm. and you can become a, a member and you will get a, you know, depending on your level of donation, exclusive the new content, trending donations, C coins are coins. coming out. All tons of good oh, stuff. Oh, man. So, so anyways, thanks again. We will see you soon ish.